Zealanders order, safe. Order. The Honourable Phil Twyford. Mr Speaker, I want to talk about a year in government in which we have built the foundations of fixing the housing crisis that the National Party created and denied at the same time. Now, Mr Speaker, I am proud to be in a government that has built the very first Kiwi built homes and the first home buyers moved into those homes on the weekend. I'm proud that after a decade of declining rates of home ownership under the former national government, 44,000 New Zealanders have hope again and have registered on the Kiwi Build website so that they can have a crack at home ownership. I'm proud that we're now building... Order, order, order. Um, I'm just going to ask staff to have a look at the member's mic, but in the interim I'll just ask them to swap places with the Honourable Chris Hipkins just in case there was a mic failure. Um, I, I'm going to admit not noticing that the member's mic was off, uh, but some members up the back are having trouble hearing him. OK, I might have broken the mic this week and say... And no, you can't start again. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of the fact that this government is now building over 9,000 Kiwi-built homes on government-owned land. I'm proud of the fact that we've rescued and sped up dozens of developments that weren't happening under the old policy settings, and now they are. I'm proud of the fact that there are 1,200 extra families who have a public housing tenancy in a year in government. 451 more families in the last quarter alone, and we're building 6,400 extra state and community houses over the next four years. Compare that, Mr Speaker, to nine years of denial and of no action of falling home ownership rates and a, go and a government under whom sleeping in your car became a mainstream way of life. Mr Speaker, nine years in which the housing crisis was created and denied. And while we've been building houses, the foundations of Simon Bridges' leadership has been crumbling. He hasn't been able to rein in Judith Collins. First, with Judith Collins, it was France was changing their laws on pedophilia. She called on the Prime Minister to denounce something that hadn't even happened. And when she was called out about this, she doubled down. And we saw the same thing yesterday, where Judith Collins incited right-wing trolls on Twitter to harass and victimise a young Kiwi couple who had done nothing more than buy their first home. Absolutely outrageous. And you know what I've noticed, Mr Speaker? You know what I've noticed? Judith Collins sets the line, the policy line for the National Party, on Twitter before Simon Bridges has even had advice from David Farrer's focus groups. He can't criticise her. He won't criticise her because he's terrified she wants his job. That's the truth. Mr Speaker, I want to talk about a year in which the coalition government brought compassion back to housing in New Zealand. And we started, we set out on the road to fix the national housing crisis. Now, Kiwi Build is ramping up. I want to be very clear about what Kiwi Build is and what it's not. It's a home ownership scheme. It's about promoting home ownership and giving an opportunity to middle New Zealand, who were squeezed intolerably under the policies of the last national government. Housing became incredibly unaffordable. In our country's biggest city, yet Mary, Maggie Barry finds this boring. She finds it boring that middle-class families in New Zealand cannot afford a chance at home ownership. Yeah, that's very boring, Maggie. It's very order, boring for people order. like you. But for middle New Zealand and young people all over this country, they just are desperately wanting a government who will give them a chance. Under national families, under, under national policies, Families who earn between 80,000 and 180,000, they suffered the biggest drop in home ownership over 10 years. 
That is middle New Zealand. Those are the people that members on that side of the house want to victimise. They don't think Order. they deserve the a break. Order. The member's time has expired. The Honourable Mark Mitchell. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker.